Good afternoon and welcome to Luke Meadow on this bank holiday weekend as Didcot host Basingstoke, a fellow promoted side, and they're looking to get their first points on the board here after what's been a tough start to the season. Deddy in all red, Basingstoke all white. Early throw in. Brown chases it down and he's caught late by Lee Road and the ref's given it. It was a clumsy challenge and it's an early penalty to the away side and that is not the start that Didcot needed. Wilson steps out over the ball. Strike. Oh, what a save. Lee Bedwell, who has a history of saving penalties, gets to another one there and it's still nil now. Didcot get away with one there. He recently chopped off his locks and donated them to the Princess Trust. So he's not only a top keeper, but he's a top man. Bit of pinball in the Diddy defence. Ashy with a great first time ball. Wilson rounds the keeper. Goal. One more base mistake. And it didn't take him long to make amends for the penalty miss. With just only seven minutes played, the away side take a 1-0 lead. And it's another tough start for Didcot. Ref's given a free kick there. Looked like it might have been a high boot. Or is it that he caught, caught Glover late? Either way, the dugout aren't sure, but the ref has given an explanation. Set-piece specialist Barrett delivers to the far, far post. Leroy, no, it's well claimed by Paul Strudley. A former Diddy player, and he played six times last season. And with both clubs getting promoted, he can claim he's got a double promotion on his hands. Switched to George Reed. What a touch. Takes it away from the fullback. Strike. Goal. That was a beautiful finish from George Roo, the fellow Didcot man. Another one, and it looks like he's come back to haunt his side, his previous team. It so often happens in football. Crossfield ball is misjudged by Grant. What a touch from Wilson. He's in. Another save from Bud Rowan. Didcot's backed it up against the wall here in the first half an hour. Goal kick falls to Gallagher who is making his first start having joined from Wallingford and Cromarsh in the summer and impressing off the bench in the first four games. Switch to Barrett. Looks to cut inside. Good footwork, but he's tackled. Ball comes off to Josh Grant. Takes a touch. What a delivery that is. Smith. Oh. There's a header on target, but Stradley does well to collect. Basingstoke bringing it forward. George Reid does well to get onto his own flick on as it drops for a second ball. Burst of pace, down the left hand side. Ball, Rowe is in the middle, three header, and another save from Bedwell. Basingstoke will be hoping they don't rue these missed chances, as they could have killed the game already. But Giles is fouled there as he looks to bring the ball forward. Another delivery from Barrett. Ollie Case jumps, gets the flick on, and it drops to the captain, and Adam Leroy heads home. 2-1. Didcot are alive and kicking in the game, and it's the first goal of the season for Didcot's longest serving player. Glover with the ball forward into the channel for Gallagher, who loves to chase. Delightful ball, Smith, surely. And I don't think Adam Smith quite knows how Paul Strudley has managed to save that, and he's not the only one. Great reactions from the keeper. And at half time, Ben Putland came on for Adam Smith. First appearance of the season, and he's hoping to make an impact. Delivery for McNeil. There's Ben, and there's the impact. It's 2 2, and Didcot are back in the game. They're level, and oh, it looks like a nasty clash of heads there. Putland is down, and they're going to need treatment. And he did need to go off after that, so it was a short but very productive cameo from Ben Putland. Bardo's corner, and it's almost gone straight in. It's off the bar, and Although their backs are against the wall in the first half, it's a game of two halves for sure. And now it's all Didcot pressure. Long throw, drops to Osborne. The bicycle kick, and <laughs> Strudley gets to another one. Both keepers have been in fine form today, and it's been a really entertaining game. A great advert for Step 3 football. Barda with another corner. Ollie Case jumps well, and it's just wide. It looked like Didley nearly took the lead there. And that would have been a first goal for the club for Ollie Case, who joined from Highworth in the centre. Ball forward from the centre back. Great flick on from the substitute Clark. Rowe puts it past the keeper, and Leroy gets back well to clear. And it's a Basingstoke corner. 
We're into added time now. There's a significant bit added on because of the head injury. Stradley forward, flipped on by Wilson. And the substitute, Clark, in the words of the Basingstoke fans, he's turned into prime Maradona, puts the ball into the box. It's missed by Rowe, but not by Reid. And it's in. 3 2 in Basingstoke. Take the three points with them back to Hampshire. And that is cruel for Didcot. But there's not long to rest as they have to get up and ready for Hungerford on Bank Holiday Monday. And the search for the first point continues. A great game of football. Unfortunately, still no points for the Diddy.